Hey guys, how's it going? Super excited to chat with you guys today. And as you know, today we're gonna to be chatting about the secret reason your photography business is not booked out. Now, as you know, there's not just one reason why you're not getting bookings. Um, however, I think today is gonna to shed a lot of light for you guys um, on maybe why you're not getting bookings or why you're not getting as many bookings um, as you wanna be getting. So I don't just have one reason, but today I'm gonna to be expanding on one reason that's super important. So really the secret reason comes down to like people don't know that you're a photographer. Like to you, like so I guess visibility would be the word. But like to you, you're like, oh, you know, obviously I'm a photographer. I'm posting about it on Facebook all the time. But it's like, where are you posting about it? Are you posting on your personal profile? Are you posting on your business profile? You would not believe the number of times that I go to check out a photographer's Facebook page um, because I either want to like check out their work or I wanna book a photo shoot with them or whatever. And I can't even figure out how to get to their Facebook business page, okay? You need, 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 need to have your Facebook personal profile in your about section where it says like where do you work or whatever that needs to say you know molly marie photography owner and head photographer or whatever so that when i click on that it takes me to my business facebook page you not believe the number of profiles that i go to where either they don't have this all together or um they have it but like i click it and it's just like a blank page like it's not actually connected um so you know I know a lot of people are like, well, my personal page is for personal and my business page is for business. When you're a small business owner, your life is your business. If you want to be successful, that's how it has to be. Um, so what I mean by that is like, I don't care if you're out grocery shopping with your kids. Like if you run into someone, chat them up, try to get them to book a photo shoot. I don't care if you post, you know, baby photos and grocery shopping photos and whatever on your personal Facebook page, but mix in the fact that you're a photographer, you empower women, you love your job. And you know, mix that in because you have to build your know, like, and trust factor. Owning a business today is not, it's not enough to just be, you know, it's not enough to just have a studio. It's not enough to just have a business Facebook page. It's not enough to just have a website. You have to be the billboard for your brand. You have to eat, sleep, breathe. You have to be the leader of your photography, not just business, but of your photography movement, right? Because like, you should be so freaking fired up and passionate about empowering more women and every woman in your city. and. You know, if you are, then you need to be screaming it from the rooftops, AKA, you know, this needs to be on your business Facebook, your pro personal Facebook, Facebook groups. You, you, need, you need to have business cards with you in your purse. You know, wherever you go, whatever you do, you need to somehow link that back to your photography business. Now, <clears throat> number two is your profile photo. Now, number one, as photographers, we think that changing our profile photo a lot is good slash we do it a lot because we take photos that we like and so we make them our profile photo. But that's actually bad. You want to get one really professional, nice portrait of you. Um, holding a camera is best. You'll notice if you're um, friends with me on Facebook that my profile uh, for business and personal both is me, a professionally shot and paid for photo shoot um, with me with a professional DSLR camera are my profile photos. Um, you know, this is going to be a great reminder of who you are, but also the fact that like, this is your business. You want people to see that profile and be like, oh right, you know, Kristen or Shauna or Lacey or whoever on here is a photographer. Um, and you don't wanna change it a lot because you want people to sort of recognize you and like see you around. It's sort of like, you know, if you were like a regular at a coffee shop and then one day someone's like, hey, I, I see you in here all the time. Like, you know, what are you in here for or whatever? It's kind of like that on Facebook, right? Facebook is like a virtual, I don't know, place to hang out. So, you know, you might, if you're in like a lot of local Facebook groups or whatever, somebody is going to like eventually like recognize your profile. And that's like street cred in Facebook. 
talk, <laughs> right? Um, and you want your profile photo to show that you're a photographer because you want people to see that and remember that you are a photographer and you don't want to change your profile picture a lot because then people will get confused. They won't remember you. They won't know who you are. Um, and then make sure that your profile photo, like once you click on it, once somebody clicks on it, be like, you know, Hey, I'm Molly, you know, nice to meet you. I own a my favorite things are blah, blah, blah. I own a photography studio. You can check it out, mollymariephoto.com. You know, so like you want to make it so simple and you also want to make the about section of your Facebook. Um, like mine says, actually I can go to it right now and read it for you guys exactly what mine says. Um, mine's like um, boudoir photographer, animal lover, traveler, um, you know, and then you want to have your call to action. So, you know, mollymariephoto.com or whatever. And then, you know, it has like where I'm from, where I live now, um, you know, what I do for a living. It has a link to my business page. Um, you know, you want to have a lot of details on there. And that really brings me to the next point is that a lot of you don't list out where you live. <laughs> where the hell do you live? <laughs> that's a big problem. Like a lot of times I'll go to your Facebook page or your website or whatever and nobody lists where they're located. And it's like, how is anyone supposed to book you if they don't know where you're located? And I know you might be thinking like, oh, well, I'm worldwide, you know? It doesn't work that way. <laughs> it's better for you to tell people where you live. Just trust me on that. Because if somebody goes to your Facebook and they don't know where you live, they're just going to ignore you. But if they're like, oh, they live in Knoxville. I live in Knoxville. You know, then, you know, they'll book a shoot with you. But like, if you don't put where you're located on your website or your Facebook, like that's not going to help you. And it might actually look kind of like maybe you're not a real business. Um, so definitely like go to your Facebook profile after this, after you watch this video and look at your profile, pretend that you're a potential customer or pretend that you're somebody trying to get to, to know you and be like, do I know where they live? Do I know that they're a photographer? Do I know that they're a boudoir photographer? Like what, what do you know from this profile that you've created on Facebook and what do you know from, you know, your website as well? Um, yes, exactly. You have to list where you're located. It, it just, I can't believe people don't do this and put your freaking phone number on there too, <laughs> because you know, it may, put different ways of people to get in touch with you. Like I literally list my phone number and I'm like, you can text me, you can email me, you can Facebook PM me, you can send me a freaking carrier pigeon. Like I don't care. Just get in touch with me because I want to take photos of you in your underwear. That rhymed. I had to say that. But you know what I mean, right? Like I let people get in touch with me however it is convenient for them. And you have to put out there, you know, what it is you do, who you are. You have to make it super simple for people to understand that and find you um, because you're going to be networking. You're going to be meeting people. You're going to be in other Facebook groups. You're going to be doing all these things. And those are all great networking opportunities. But if you don't put your best face and information forward, um, then you're not going to be booked out. People are not going to be able to easily know what you do, who you are, how to book with you, where you're located, all of that stuff. It seems so simple. The next thing is your email signature, okay? <laughs> so in your email signature, you probably get a lot of emails from people and you want to utilize your email signature. I've literally had the most random photography bookings ever. Okay, are you guys ready for like my most random photography booking ever? I called GoDaddy customer service and I emailed them about something and they emailed me back and they knew somebody who lived by me who booked a boudoir shoot with me. I mean, what? <laughs> I mean, really, <laughs> what? <laughs> so basically what you have to do is go to your Gmail or whatever email you use, change your email signature so that it has a link to your website, your um, you know, your phone number, what it is that you do, you know, it can, I have mine that's like an actual signature and it's like, you know, Molly Kaiser, uh, boudoir photographer, and that has my number and my uh, website and all that stuff on there. So you need to do that. You need to change your email signature because like you're getting so many people emailing you. Oh, and make, 
Um, yeah, so basically I'm just like, that's another way for you to just like get the word out there, right? Um, let's see here. Oh, lastly, let's talk about mindset a little bit. You have to be 100% confident and happy and excited about what it is that you do. Uh, because if you run into somebody and somebody asks you like, what do you do for your living? And you're like, well, I don't know, like, you know, I'm a stay at home mom. But like, really, you want to have photo bookings. So you should tell people that you're a photographer and be confident about it. Um, and I'm not saying this applies to all of you because not all of you are stay-at-home moms, not all of you are maybe even moms at all. Um, but I'm just trying to get the point across here that you know you need to practice, even if you have to practice it in the mirror, if you're not somebody who's you know outgoing or whatever, practice saying, you know, hey, my name's Molly Kaiser, like I'm a boudoir photographer, I empower women through the art of boudoir photography. Um, you know, last year I photograph, I changed a hundred, you know, uh, women's lives in our city or whatever it is you want to say. Um, and then just be super confident about it because there's going to be times where you're meeting people, you know, like I said, it could be grocery store. It could be at the bank. I've literally, I booked a wedding back in the day, back in the day. I don't do weddings anymore, but I booked a wedding from setting up my bank account in my new city when I first moved to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Um, and I booked a boudoir shoot from somebody who I paid to give me a massage, <laughs> like a massage therapist. So like bookings are everywhere. Where there are women, there are boudoir bookings. Where there are women, there are boudoir bookings. So you just, you have to be confident. You have to go in knowing what your mission is. So yeah, just to sum it up what we talked about here today. Um, if no one knows that you're a photographer, then no one knows to hire you. Your Facebook profile, email signature, all that stuff should, uh, your profile photo should tell people that you're a photographer. Um, and you should change the link on your uh, email signature and your Facebook page and all that stuff to show, you know, what it is you do. And um, you need to be confident in yourself as a photographer and also telling people about your mission and all that kind of stuff so that people can reach out to you. Um, <laughs> so yeah, those are the three uh, tips that I'm going to leave you with leave you guys with today. So anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips and I will be back next week with more. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.